Alright, I felt like making a video on how to set and unset a mouse trap. It's actually kind of easy. You gotta set this. Make sure the loop is off to this side. Or else it'll get stuck under here. You set it up under here. You just gotta wait for it to get caught. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get this part. You gotta get it up under here. There, got it. Now the correct way to unset them is to set your fingers on this, show it down, and there you go. It's not really supposed to snap closed, but I'm only doing this with one hand so I can't hold on to it. Another quick side note is these pins right here, after you've used it a couple of times, will start to pull back into the board, so every once in a while you gotta go and shove down on these if you want it to last a while. Because these are actually, when they're made at the factory, are shaved flat with the back of the board. This one is for the tail, so that doesn't really do anything. An interesting side note, with traps, this piece right here, which holds the rod that holds the arm, on pretty much every trap, including foot traps and possum killer traps, this little guy is called the dog. D-O-G, just like the animal. It's called the dog. Like normally you would think that would be called the trigger or whatever, but it's called the dog. Now, it wouldn't be very much fun without setting it off. Now these things are kind of sometimes touchy, sometimes not. I did get my fingers in this one a couple times. This one is one of the lighter ones because of the wire that this thing is made out of. But some of them are pretty strong and they will hurt your fingers. Some aren't. I've had my fingers caught in this one a couple times and it doesn't hurt that much. And there's actually a world record for number of times setting off a mouse trap with your tongue in a minute. Which is a really weird record. But yeah. That's all I wanted to say. Bye.